Monroe Falls, Ohio Monroe Falls is a city in the east-central portion of Summit County, Ohio, United States, between Stowe and Talmadge. It is a suburb of Akron and is part of the Akron Metropolitan Statistical Area. The population was 5,012 at the 2010 census. Like much of the Connecticut Western Reserve, the area that makes up present-day Monroe Falls was previously inhabited by various tribes of American Indians. When the Western Reserve began being surveyed in 1796, what is now Monroe Falls was mostly in the southern part of the survey township Town 3, Range 10, later to be Stowe Township, then a part of Washington County before being placed in the new Jefferson County the following year. In 1800, it was made part of Trumbull County, which followed the boundaries of the Western Reserve, and in 1808, the area was made part of Portage County. The first settlers in present day Monroe Falls, a group of around 40 people including Francis Kelsey and William Stowe, came in 1809. Kelsey built a sawmill on the south side of the Cuyahoga River and a grist mill was built on the north side. The initial name of the new village was Kelsey's Mills, also Kelsey Mills. The first school in Monroe Falls was built in 1816. In 1817, a wooden dam was built to provide power for both mills and the name of the village was changed to Florence. Around 1836, William and Edmund Monroe, also spelled Monroe, from Boston arrived and purchased the two mills and approximate lie of land around them to lay out a new village, which they named Monroe Falls. The village was incorporated October 26, 1838. The Monroes had great plans for the village to become a center of commerce in an important city, but these plans never worked out. After about 10 years, which included the economic instability of the Panic of 1837, the Monroes defaulted to many of the creditors and the properties they owned were taken over by other individuals. The Pennsylvania and Ohio Canal opened in 1840 and passed through Monroe Falls, the first boats landing on August 6 of that year arriving from Newcastle, Pennsylvania. It closed around 1870. Also in 1840, Monroe Falls was made part of the new Summit County. In 1866, the old grist mill was purchased by the Cleveland Paper Company and refitted for paper manufacturing. The building burned down approximately one to two years later in the present factory today owned by Sunoco Products, was built on the same site. In 1884 railroad tracks were laid in the former canal bed as part of a single line owned by the Pittsburgh and Western Railroad. These tracks were doubled in 1900 following the purchase of the railroad by Baltimore and Ohio Railroad. The village got a new town hall in the 1960s. This building, which continues to serve as City Hall, was constructed in 1885 to serve as the Monroe Falls Schoolhouse serving its original purpose until 1916. In 1921 the community applied for and was granted village status. This action was taken in order to avoid becoming a part of neighboring Stowe, which was applying for similar status and had included sections of Monroe Falls in its application. Finding that as a village there was not enough population to maintain self-sufficiency, the village held city officer elections for the first time in 1925 in order to revoke the village charter and receive county services. Monroe Falls converted to city status in 1991. In the early 2000s, the Ohio Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, and Summit County determined that the oxygen levels were too low in the Cuyahoga River, due mostly to the stagnant pool behind the Monroe Falls Dam. The solution was to lower the dam, which dated to 1903. Eventually, the entire dam was removed after workers discovered a natural ledge underneath the existing dam. This project, begun in August 2005 and completed in October 2006, was part of a larger project along much of the river in the city that included cleanup and restoration. Monroe Falls is also home to SGS Tool Company, the world's largest manufacturer of round solid carbide cutting tools. SGS Tool Company's corporate headquarters and R&D centers are located in Monroe Falls, while their manufacturing operations are located in Cuyahoga Falls. SGS is the largest employer in Monroe Falls and is the largest percentage of the corporate tax base. Monroe Falls is located in eastern Summit County adjacent to the cities of Stowe to the north, Talmadge to the south, and Cuyahoga Falls to the west with the village of Silver Lake on the northwest. It was formed from parts of the now defunct Stowe and Talmadge townships. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of, of which is land and is water. As of the census of 2010, there were 5,012 people. 2,086 households, and 1,467 families residing in the city. The population density was. There were 2,189 housing units at an average density of. 
The racial makeup of the city was 95.6% white, 1.5% African American, 0.1% Native American, 1.4% Asian, 0.2% from other races, and 1.2% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 1.2% of the population. There were 2,086 households of which 27.0% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 58.1% were married couples living together, 8.5% had a female householder with no husband present, 3.7% had a male householder with no wife present, and 29.7% were non-families. 25.2% of all households were made up of individuals and 10.2% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.40 and the average family size was 2.87. The median age in the city was 45.1 years. 20.2% of residents were under the age of 18, 7.2% were between the ages of 18 and 24, 22.3% were from 25 to 44. 33.8% were from 45 to 64, and 16.3% were 65 years of age or older. The gender makeup of the city was 48.7% male and 51.3% female. Of the city's population over the age of 25, 42.0% hold a bachelor's degree or higher. As of the census of 2000, there were 5,314 people, 1,955 households and 1,524 families residing in the city. The population density was 1,939.8 people per square mile, 748.8 per square kilometer. There were 2,035 housing units at an average density of 742.9 per square mile, 286.8 per square kilometer. The racial makeup of the city was 97.10% white, 0.92% African American, 0.02% Native American, 1.19% Asian, 0.06% Pacific Islander, 0.09% from other races, and 0.62% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 0.70% of the population. There were 1,955 households out of which 35.0% had children under the age of 18 living with him. 68.7% were married couples living together, 6.7% had a female householder with no husband present, and 22.0% were non-families. 18.8% of all households were made up of individuals and 6.3% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.66 and the average family size was 3.04. In the city the population was spread out with 24.6% under the age of 18, 6.4% from 18 to 24, 25.6% from 25 to 44, 29.8% from 45 to 64, and 13.6% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 41 years. For every 100 females, there were 94.4 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 91.8 males. The median income for a household in the city was $61,169, and the median income for a family was $69,918. Males had a median income of $51,277 versus $31,563 for females. The per capita income for the city was $27,317. About 0.3% of families and 1.5% of the population were below the poverty line, including 0.8% of those under age 18 and 0.8% of those age 65 or over. Monroe Falls is primarily served by the Stowe Monroe Falls City School District. Serving more than 5,700 students, the district operates six elementary schools Echo Hills, Fish Creek, Highland, Indian Trail, Riverview and Woodland, Lakeview Intermediate School. Kimpton Middle School and Stowe Monroe Falls High School. Riverview Elementary and Kimpton Middle School are located in Monroe Falls, while the remainder of the district's facilities are located in Stowe. A small portion of Monroe Falls is part of the neighboring Talmadge School District. There are three main metro parks in Monroe Falls. There is the Monroe Falls Swimming Lake, the Bike and Hike, and Talmadge Meadows. All three parks are off Route 91. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.